our way through the field and it uh, ended up being pretty good. We we got up to the front with about uh, you know, five laps, six laps to go. So I was pretty happy with that, that I had uh, some time to think about what I wanted to do. And uh, the last lap was pretty good. I thought that uh, I thought I was able to pull a little bit of a gap, but I guess I wasn't. And, uh, you know, Danny got us, you know, he outsmarted us, and, uh, and we'll come back to Barber fighting strong, and uh, I look forward to it. You know, when you're battling like that amongst that big group there, I mean, it was 10 bikes for a long time. Well, how intense is that for you guys when you're in the middle of something like that? Uh, I think you could see me and Martin kind of staying out of it because you could tell that uh, you know, one of those guys was going to do exactly what they did in the last lap. You know, it's, it's pretty much guaranteed that, that somebody's going to do something like that. So you just, if you can, for me, I just try to stay out of it as long as I can. And then uh, whenever I feel that it's time to you know, get to the front, I, I'll try. And, and today, luckily, it worked out. Well, it's an excellent race, and you're back in second at the points. Uh, Danny, this is your third win this year. Uh, you continue to lead the points. It's about a, the same gap as when you guys came into this into this weekend, which is interesting. <laughs> After a lot of good racing, uh, the fans are, the fans are glad you did because it was pretty exciting. Uh, but nonetheless, tell us a little bit about your race. You know, you led early. You you, you tend to do this, uh, and then next thing you know, you got yourself uh, in the middle of a bunch of different scraps. Tell us a little bit about your day. It was. Uh, my plan was totally not what I did today. I mean, yeah, the outcome was, but the, the plan for the race, kind of what I, I talked about doing, I was like, yeah, maybe sit back and try to be like Martin and sit back and wait and, and come in strong at you know the last five laps or something. But from the green flag, that, that that was out the window. I just threw that one right out and put my head down. And I think me and Corey went back and forth there early on quite a bit, off into turn one, and we swapped the lead a few times, and Aquino got up there, and, and uh, he was going really fast. And, you know, I knew it, I knew there was gonna be a bunch of guys like always. There's always a, a handful of guys up there, and I didn't know there was ten, but I'm glad I didn't know that. I was I didn't look back. I didn't want to know who was there, or what was coming. I just wanted to go as fast as I could, and it was for the most part pretty uneventful until that last couple of laps. And it was, you know, Martin came by in the turn one that time, and it was like, all right, Josh was there, Martin's there, I'm there. All the everybody was right up in the front, so I knew it was gonna something exciting was gonna happen for sure. How about the performance of your motorcycle? Was it consistent today? Yeah, it was a lot better for me today. Um, I had a couple little issues. I think, I think maybe when I broke the, broke away a little bit yesterday when I was leading, I probably burned up the tire a little bit, and, and that hurt me. Where today I was maybe a little bit easier on it, and, and had a little more left there towards the end of the race to uh, to go to the fight. How about your other guys? When when Corey, I think it was, that went straight and turned one there, kind of that moment. Did, did you notice what happened with him? Or no, I didn't. Never seen did that. You guys see that? But he just kind of went straight and turned one and then stopped in the sand. Uh, I think he just had the cannon or something. Yeah, it looked like yeah. a cannon. Yeah, he didn't crash or anything. He just kind of stood up. Yeah. So you guys didn't see that. Okay. All right, any questions for this guy? Danny, how about the move on the last lap? Yeah, I was, uh, you know, that's the one spot. Unless you've got a, something where you can get a good run and, and draft past the line, that's real, your last real uh, opportunity to pass there. And I was pretty much committed. That was my spot. Uh, to pass two or three corners before that. I was like, that's that's gonna happen, that's it. And you know, if you're not committed then I probably would have ran in there and, and hit the side of them and we both would have crashed, you know, or or, or I would have crashed or you would have crashed one, you know. It, it could have been real ugly, but I was I was committed way before we ever got there. So it was you know coming down to the last two races of the championship, it doesn't get any better or cleaner I guess than that. And Josh, what's your take on the on that on last side? I mean it was just uh, it was a racing move, you know, last lap, you know, anything's going to happen like it did at uh, VIR, and, um, you know, it, luckily, no one got, no one got nervous, you know, they ran off the track, so, uh, you know, it's a good clean race, and, uh, you know, Barbara, it's, it's good that we're all this tight for Barbara, you know, it's a good podium, I think, yeah, were you here. wide, <laughs> when, were you wide already, and, like, the door was open, or? Uh, no, I mean, that corner is kind of like, it's tight enough, so you can kind of take a little bit of a wide entry, but I actually was tighter than I was, just to kind of hold the, hold the door shut a little bit, but not completely where I'd lose my drive. And uh, as soon as you get in on that corner, you can, as soon as you get in on that corner, you're kind of in, and you can, you can fight and try to stay on the outside and make it your first in the left hander, but it's uh, it's hard to do, and the tires the way that they were towards the end, you're just all reaching and stuff, it's... Uh, it was just safer for me to just take a set. And, uh, you know, luckily the guys behind me weren't too close, otherwise I'd probably.